Hello and welcome to the GLM from the Logistics Cluster Field Preparedness Project. My name is Martin and together with my colleagues it is a pleasure to be here and talk about our passionate project. As we have a broader audience today with colleagues from the HMPW attending, we will start with a brief introduction on the methodology followed by an overview on the current activities and outlook. Thereafter, we would like to open the stage to the audience for your contributions, comments and questions. The project is based on two core principles, which most of you are surely familiar with, localization and institutional capacity strengthening. As this comprises the fundamentally different approach we built the entire activity framework on, I would like to first elaborate briefly on these before going into the details of our activities. Let's start with a classical, initially intuitive approach and from an international humanitarian angle. In a country that was recently hit by a disaster or is frequently facing emergencies, logistics response gaps are often well known. Concepts to address these exist and, given the means, emergency preparedness and response actors are working to close gaps and manage disaster risks. Support by the international community would link into this. Identification of gaps and bottlenecks and mobilization of resources to address these, ideally before they occur in an emergency. This might range from infrastructure support, supply to, of emergency relief items, provision of skills and knowledge to digital support, analytics and access to supply chain information. It most surely will help address immediate needs and in an emergency context we are used to and suited for such support. But still, might it be that we are missing out something here? Are we actually addressing root causes or mitigating the potential impacts? First of all, what is our role as logistics cluster in field level preparedness anyways? The ISC transformative agenda includes national capacity building and preparedness for clusters at national level. But what is our role where there is no activated cluster in country? Emergency preparedness and response falls under the sovereignty of states. And so does the first operating principle of the IEC Common Framework on Preparedness, formulate national leadership. It further elaborates on several aspects like a comprehensive approach and context-specific implementation. The IEC Emergency Response Preparedness Guidance states for the sector or cluster level preparedness the definition of how agencies will work together. And this brings us to localization and institutional capacity strengthening. Localization puts the national actor in front and center. Our role and responsibilities in preparedness is quite a long story, and not just since the definition of localized preparedness as strategic goal in the logistics cluster strategy in 2016 is the GLM reviewing and refining our strategic implementation plan, which will also be a key topic in this GLM. The field-based preparedness project originates here. Now, how is the institutional capacity strengthening framework designed? 